All right, hi everyone. This is Hector with Cloud First Labs here. Today we're going to go over Salesforce Lightning Einstein Activity Capture. Uh, a lot of people have asked me, you know, what exactly is Einstein Activity Capture? Well, it's a great feature for, of Salesforce that enables users not only to import emails and calendar entries from like Outlook and Gmail, but it relates that data to existing records in Salesforce. Why would you use this? Dual entry of activities and emails is gone, basically. Searching out Outlook and Gmail for the last message to a contact that's not necessarily in there, or countless folders for in your inbox for each customer is a thing of the past. All the data in Salesforce and, and is related via email addresses is all captured in one point. I mean, Think of the salesman and his busy days trying to get to the next deal. Um, he's using Einstein to free up his time to do what's truly important for not only him, but to your business, which is selling. Talk to any salesman, and the most tedious thing about selling is the follow up of the pipeline. But with Einstein, the elimination of the dual entries and having all the information from past contacts truly be put into one spot, it makes the decision to use Einstein truly a no-brainer. Taking away those dual entries not only is it uh, time-consuming on the part of data entry, but it's also time-consuming to your management as well. They can actually just look in Salesforce and see the all of the communications that the salesmen are using on a daily basis without having to be over their shoulder or taking away time on meetings and letting them get back to being optimized and going out there and making that next deal. I mean, a quick example is you have the one salesman who's in the middle of a big deal. It's a long sales cycle. Um, the, it's in the pipeline. And then the salesman leaves for another opportunity for whatever reason. Now, instead of that opportunity being lost in the shuffle, all the information is put in one spot easily transferable to the next salesman so the deal doesn't get lost or instead of starting at point A they're starting at point N um, and it allows the sales cycle to not restart from scratch well uh, it, with all this great information about what Einstein actually does how do you actually start oh uh, that's simple you just open up your main browser to your Salesforce Lightning page. You click over to your profile, and right here on this, under your name, you're just going to go to Settings. After Settings, a quick drop-down menu to the left of the screen will open up. You'll see under Email, Einstein Activity uh, Capture. You're just going to click right on that. It's going to open up a page, and the main thing you're looking for in the Settings page is Connected Accounts. And you're just going to click on New Account. On new account, you're going to go pop up with the little Einstein from Salesforce logo on it. Uh, you're going to choose whether you want a Google account or Office 365 or MS Exchange. It doesn't matter which one you use. You can actually do all three if you have all three in your office. Most most offices just have one. Uh, you're going to pick your, uh, in this example, we have a Microsoft 365 account. You're just going to pick that account. Uh, then you're going to come up with your activity sharing screen that's going to pop up in Salesforce. Now, each one of these three have three different functionalities. Uh, number one is obviously share with everyone who's in your Salesforce group. They can see all the emails, all the contacts, and the context of those emails. Share with my chatter groups. If you have your teams broken down into teams, those teams will have uh, interviewability, but nobody outside those teams will have it. And then you have don't share. And what don't share is, I have an example on the right, is you'll see the event, but you won't actually be able to click into the event unless you're the owner of the opportunity. So it allows people to see activity without seeing the details of that activity. Now, once you uh, have cho chosen your sharing settings, then the, this uh, page will, will pop up. Uh, you'll see here that your connected accounts is there. You can disconnect it at any time. Say you're changing email uh, servers or changing the per uh, what person has access to that those particular Salesforce files. You can change it at the end. And this is a uh, 
you know, obviously a sandbox. I'm going to show you right here on the left hand side. So just put an arrow there. You can see with the privacy settings of just uh, don't share, you can see that uh, John has sent three emails to this client. Um, and you see that there's a calendar invite. It's all in one spot. This is automatically brought in. You don't have to sit there in your opportunities and add these things. That's why Einstein's so great. Um, Einstein is at no cost to anyone who actually has Salesforce. You do get 100 uh, users at no additional cost. There is no reason not to have it on. Um, it's just another thing that's going to give you a rate of return on using your Salesforce on a daily basis to optimize those extra little benefits and features that will get you just a little bit further ahead as far as your productivity during the day and keeping information all centralized. Uh, the biggest thing about a CRM is making sure that your CRM is working for you, not against you. Again, this is Hector with Cloudforce Labs. Um, my com contact information is on the screen. If you guys need anything, consulting, uh, help with the project, we're always around. Just send me an email. Thank you.